Hi everybody, today I'm in Sydney and I'm going to show you one of our amazing customers. It's called Devon Cafe in North Sydney. This is the really unique and interesting cafes. I really love this cafe because there are so many Japanese dishes with the Asian twist. Some dishes really remind me I'm going back to Japan and I'm going to go inside and show you around, especially those exciting dishes. All right, please come over. Nice to see you again. Thanks for coming. And uh, today, can you explain to your viewers what's all about the Devon Cafe? Probably your viewer wants to hear how you created uh, all the interesting uh, dishes. So, Devon was open um, in 2013 uh, by me and uh, business partner um, Derek. Yeah. Uh, we are both Malaysian. Mm. We um, wanted to create um, an eatery where we would do cafe food in a very relaxed and casual environment mm -hmm. but elevated um, cuisine so okay. more fancy food but mm -hmm. in a cafe setting um, more casual yeah mm -hmm. with Australia being in the forefront for cafes mm -hmm. and coffee mm -hmm. um, I've been to a few places around the world and, mm -hmm. and I still can't find um, somewhere that takes coffee as seriously as Australia seven years coming mm -hmm. we are right now sitting in our what fourth devon mm -hmm. um in north sydney devon north sydney and um, we've got one place in jakarta so we have kind of expanded on that australian cafe culture and um we're here to showcase some of the the kind of meals that we produce over at devon that's really interesting and do you have a uh, three here in north sydney and the barangaroo and sorry hills that's right, right yeah really interesting because you have a Lots of Japanese style foods yeah. with a little bit of different Asian twist, different, different fusion style. That's really interesting. So Sydney is a melting pot of cultures. Mm. Um, we being so close to Asia, mm. um, we, we have an influx of mm. immigrants mm. and we share our cultures and we eat out a lot and share our knowledge mm. among you know, the different chefs. Mm. So I think that's why uh, at at Devon, we have no boundaries in cooking. We we try to blur the lines between oh, we only do Japanese or we only do Malaysian or we only do mi goreng. Mm. We have fun cooking. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Kimio, should we try some of the food? Yeah, please. I'm getting hungry, and I would really want to try something. Some of your signature dishes. <laughs> That looks so interesting and yummy and smells really nice. Can you explain to your viewers what all this? So what we have is the main meals that we serve at Devon and what we have is the hash potato that we make in-house, the wagyu steak uh, from you. Um, from me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> from my company. <laughs> um, the portobello mushrooms yeah. at the bottom and uh, black garlic and peppercorn sauce that takes 16 hours to make very tasty um it's a very classic dish but um it's just very very tasty it comes all together on my in, in front of me yeah. is um uh, indonesian noodles uh mee goreng which i'm sure you've heard of it as an instant packet instant mee goreng uh, but here we make it in-house um and we pimp it up with some of australia's top seafood um we've got the scarlet prawns from uh, up and off queensland we've got the Urchin from mm. Tasmania. Tasmania, yep. And um, uni. it all comes together mm. with the uh, beef sauce mm. uh, and we make it from the heads of the scarlet prawn. But why is that you think like a mingo and noodles? Is that something, what's the in inspiration about it? Yeah, I mean, to we make more like Indonesian stuff. We, we're taking a, a something that, a dish that is very humble. Like humble? A, yes. Humble, yes. Me goreng, me goreng. But we make a twist and we put some really, really top ingredients on top of it. 
that's very unique. <laughs> the actual noodle is something humble, and the order topping on the top is expensive. Yeah, <laughs> that's very unique. So we're going to try. Yep. All right. How I recommend you eat this dish is a little bit messy mm. and orthodox, but for me, it's my favorite thing to do. Um, the best part of the prawn is the head, yeah. and I recommend just squeezing that all the juice into the into the um, the meat. As a Japanese, we call it the miso. The best part. Yeah, the best of the part. This is yeah, especially like a prawn or crabs. And then I'm just gonna mix up, break the egg. Oh, ah, okay. As a little onsen egg. Yeah. Onsen egg. Yeah. Just mix it all up. And the sauce, the dish. Oh, the, a lot of umami. Yes, umami. It's it's more like a. the Japanese it looks like a yakisoba. Yeah. <laughs> do you know yakisoba? Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> looks like a yakisoba with a special seafood on the top. <laughs> Okay, right, please try. Good. That a uh, little bit spicy. Tastes really good. Oh, oh that the uh, the prawn flavor. Mm. It's better that the miso, that the gooey stuff. I can taste it. Oh, but I think I was a bit hard on the chili there. <laughs> yeah, little, little bit spicy. This <laughs> no good for kids, I think. So, what, think what is your inspiration to make like this? I'm very, um, as a cook, mm. I'm very driven by the mm. produce. Mm. So, what excites me is mm. when I see really top quality ingredients. Mm. So, in, in the moment, mm. um, it's spring mm. and um, scarlet prawns yeah. was um, in abundance. Yeah, in and, season. Uh, in yeah. season. Yeah. And, um, Urchin right mm. now is, uh, is is good eating yeah. white sea urchin from mm. Tasmania. The inspiration is is simply mm. um, the ingredients. And uh, now we try wagyu steak. This sauce is really tasteful. It's really tasty. This um this sauce. And uh, initially I didn't know what this is. I thought this is bread. <laughs> <laughs> This is good. This is good. I like this. It's just potato, steak, mm. and mm. mushrooms. Very, very, very classic ingredient. The inside really soft, and the outside really crunchy. This is a really good combination. Especially, I like this one with this sauce. This is really good. And you got, you should try this uh, wagyu beef. I highly recommend this mashed potato with the sauce, especially. This is dessert, right? This is a. Uh, Signature dessert. It's a uh, Milo miso mm. created by Chef Morris. Yeah. Um, and it's just a little riff on an iconic um, Australian product, Milo, and an iconic Italian dessert, yeah. tiramisu. tiramisu. And yeah. just combine the two and have some fun with it. I hope you like it. So, can we try? Yeah, sure. It's really tasty. I mean, really good. People should try with the coffee, especially. Thank you for today. Thank you for your time, and uh, I really appreciate showing all the interesting dishes today. Thank you for coming. It's our pleasure to have you over, and uh, hopefully, if you're interested, come and try the food at Devon. Okay, so today I'm showing uh, Devon cafes, and uh, it's a really interesting cafe. I highly recommend that you should come over, and uh, just ask you one question. How do you choose a, a cafe for weekend? Whatever it may be, I highly recommend you should come over this restaurant, I mean cafes, because your weekend is going to be something special. That's the point I highly recommend you should come over here. Okay, thank you for watching today and please subscribe our YouTube channel and also check Dibon Cafe's social media and website to get more information. And if you have any places you want me to come over, please leave your comment below. And uh, I just need your opinion or your suggestion, okay? To create a more interesting video, all right? Thank you for watching today and see you soon.